Welcome friends again. Uh, in the last episode, you must have already seen, you know, what is indenting, what is the scope of the business, and how it is, uh, you know, getting benefited to the people uh, without uh, doing, you know, much or no investment kind of thing. So we will say here now what are the benefits of the indenting, and then what this course will cover, and how this uh, course will go through, and how you will able to gain the knowledge within three days of this course, right? So small office, home office. So so you can sit anywhere and you can do this business. Very lucrative business in terms and context with the India. The import of the business into India import bill is six hundred billion dollar few years back, and that time the export business was four hundred billion dollar US dollar, right? So this is the expanse of this business, and you can do into both imports, exports, also local. Also, third country to third country. That is why it is called as international indenting business. All right. So, no or minimal investment. So, only investment is your time and wherever you are sitting and calling the customer or supplier. No risk involved. Your risk is only your consulting fees. But the main into the cargo, the invested by the by the buyer or the supplier. Either like they open the LC side or they make the advance payment. Or suppliers give you 90 days uh, credit against the letter of credit. The specialty of this business, we will not give any open credit from any supplier as far as possible. He wants to extend because he is a global client and it is his choice. Otherwise, there is it is not any open ended credit. So this is the main advantage. So you will not be into any vicious cycle which you may be in doing now local business or any export business or import business. Thirdly, there is a very minimal documentation. Only the document is your commission invoice or consulting fees. The another thing is the compliance. Compliance you may require to have only maybe uh, Director General of Foreign Trade, IEC code uh, for doing this business, or any other government norms have been implemented during that time. So you'll have to take these licenses. But these are very minimal licenses. You are you are not investing into business. You are not doing any trading. You are not going to. You know, pay any custom duty or anything for export or import or anything, right? So this is what is there, and you can do business into any products, any supplier, any buyers. Normally, the suppliers are into overseas. The expansion of this business is very huge, and now we will go through what this course will cover. You know, in the last episode, we have said how is the benefits and how is it is lucrative, and now what this course will cover. So this course will have a cover. Into the general introduction, what is indenting, what is indenter, why import happens or why export happens. It is the same, you know. Uh, it, it is the uh, uh, coin. Uh, one side is import, another side is export. So it is like that. So why the import happens? The same reason may be the why export happens. When there is a surplus, they will export. When there is a scarcity, they will import. And vice versa. Right? And what are the products you see around? What are the products you should choose? What is the intent? What is the contract? How it is taken? Why it is taken? And then how how this we will proceed for the business? What are the steps involved in the business? Right from inquiry stage to finish trade, means uh, concluding the deal and getting the ship the material from the overseas supplier or from the local supplier of India or any of your of your home country and getting back to another country or how this third country to third country business will do. Because we are going to do into the world class product, so we will have uh, as far as possible. I didn't have any problem into doing the business or any kind of issues are faced by either our buyer or supplier. So it is a very safe business because your investment is as good as nothing, right? Only your commission is is, is your kind of a investment. So what is happening? Then how this business steps will go through? You know how you will uh, uh, shortlist the product. Means how you will first list the product. Suppose you list, I will ask you to list 25 product. Out of which you will select four to five product. Then you will research it, and then you will conclude the businesses for either two to five products every year. You will try to get into this kind of product, and then what will happen in the next five years time? You will have a, around 10 products, uh, 10 products into your kitty or 25 products, and down the line 10 years you will have a. Uh, product line of about 20 product to 50 product. So all these are additional verticals, and they will mop up you the funds as a, you know uh, uh, additional funds or additional revenue from different verticals. And the same study or the research methods what we are going to apply 
are going to be very crucial and these uh, methods if you follow then I don't think you will face any problem as far as, as I have not faced any problem but we will have to do no compromise on the specification, no hidden agenda and both buyer and supplier has to perform and you have to just oversee, overview uh, the deals happening. So all the documentation goes through you like uh, same like a commercial invoice or certificate of origin, packing list, bill of lading and uh, insurance certificate and any other kind of uh, SGS certificate or any surveyor certificate or any licensing required. So it is the same, same the documentation for import and export. Only thing, it is by issued by the supplier and it is going to buyer, but it is routed through your company, that's indenting company, and the indenter, you are indenter and you will able to get the uh, matchmaking, matchmaking doing or the consulting piece. So it is very, very simple, uh, you know, kind of a steps involved. And if you study and follow that, and we will try to put this how you have done when you do the paid course. So I, I will request you all people to come and uh, get into this course of three days and become become a businessman you know or if you are already existing businessman then you will be able to diversify into various products and you will be able to generate a revenue not only small but you can go for a big revenue uh, how much you work hard or how much you diversify to make the product or how many countries you expand your business or how many products you bring from overseas and sell into India Indian market is very huge as I have told you, about $600 billion for imports and $400 billion for exports. I hope this expands you will not get in any business and no, not ever any credit given and no risk in this business as far as the indenter is concerned. And if you do the excellent job, I don't think you will face, means your buyer or supplier will face the, uh, any problem and then they will give you a repeated business and then they will recommend your name. So this is the expand. Please come and join. And uh, uh, be a millionaire or a billionaire. It is your choice. I leave it to you and see you soon. Bye bye.